Now let's work with the joint orientations uh, to make sure that the rig functions the way that we need it to. So we're going to go back to the skeleton, the original skeleton that we had, and we want to see what the joint orientations are right now so we can actually display the joint axes on that. And we can see that normally they're pointed sort of down um, in relation to how we drew them. And if we want to, uh, we can show a handle on each joint uh, if we want to rotate that. So we can go in and actually rotate that around. Now the reason why uh, we're able to do that is because of child compensate that we have here. If we didn't have that on, it would rotate everything. Um, so child compensate allows us to go in and get a specific uh, joint orientation. So we could rotate it around and say, well, that's what we want. The other option there is we can press P to bring up a um, parameter and just set the uh, joint rotation to 0, 0, 0. And um, once we have that, in this case, we've centered that we've oriented the, the, the COG to be uh, looking up. And we can do the same with the, um, the pelvis and set that to 0, 0, 0. So those are all pointed in exactly the direction we want. And then we can do it with the uh, sort of neck one here as well. And that one comes out a little bit. That's not quite what we want, but anyway, we'll do that one a little bit differently. But it's so then the other thing we can do is we can do all the rest of the joints um, using a single procedural node, uh, and we can come in and say, well, how do we want that to to orient? So what we can do is we can select out of here all the joints that the joints and then let's subtract out the COG uh, those three joints there and press enter so we're going to do every joint other than that joint and we're going to so you see we're not modifying that one and we can set up the bone form. and there we go so now we have the joints oriented uh, in the positive y, z direction.